Hey guys, I'm going to be doing it's Matthew Jackson. I'm going to another episode of Terrain Mode. I'm going to be climbing the ladder and providing commentary as I go along the way. This team is a new team. Uh, I decided I wanted, I just featured the other team for a little while, so I wanted to try something a little bit different. This is going to be a, me a Mega Gengar team with um, basically like supporting the Tapu Fini with the Hydro Vortex. It's kind of similar to the Venetric Fini team with my own type of Lightning Rod plus the Incineroar Celesteela combination. Um, but it's more my take of the style. I like it a lot. So just a rundown of the team. The Togemaru is the Focus Sash. The Gengar is going to be Shadow Wall Sludge Bomb Rain Dance to support the Fini. Fini is going to have, uh, it's going to be standard Waternium set with Muddy Water, Moonblast, and Haze, except it's really fast to pick up KOs on, like, Landers and stuff, like, so it can't deal damage to my team. The Incineroar is going to be the, um, the Pinchberry with the Taunt, Flare Blitz, Knockoff, Fake Out. Celesteel is just standard leftovers, and I was kind of contemplating running Belly Drum, but I decided I was going to run Curse Lact with Double Edge, I just feel like that was more fitting for the team is kind of it's more of a pivoting team which is something i'm not normally used to but we're going to be um featuring on the channel this week i definitely uh want to give another shout out to nicholas bingham from australia who used my torkoal team and got top eight at perth regionals with it so congratulations my man he i believe is near top eight in apac so i hope he um can get that stipend money to come to us uh, anyway, we're going to basically get hop right into our matches. Our win-loss is 11-3 with a rating of 16-26. And um, we're going to have some fun. This team, I kind of like how the team worked out. and hasn't worked out all the kinks yet, but it's definitely like fundamentally solid. It will work in um, a couple of, It should work in our games. So we'll kind of be able to learn the team together if you guys are interested in that. <laughs> our first opponent is going to be Ultra Moon with a rating of 16-45 from Florida. Their team is going to be Gothitelle, Scrafty, Charizard, Coco, Landorus, and Stack Attacka. So, against these teams, I really like the Gengar Fini lead. It kind of does a lot of work, um, especially since we're going to be able to pin things with like Hydro Vortex. Snorlax will be pretty useful in this matchup, I th maybe. I like Incineroar a lot with the Fake Out Pressure plus Knockoff. Um, if we can get a sub up with Celesteela, we'll be in a pretty good spot as well. Snorlax, kind of okay, it just it under, it doesn't even underspeed sec attack if it's a minus one, so we're just gonna... I like Celesteel as our fourth. I think Gengar with Rain Dance would be pretty good though, especially if you lead something like Coco Landorus. Okay, so he has just Landorus. I'm assuming he's not gonna be... Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to assume he's not going to be Choice Scarf, just because I don't think it fits extremely well on his team. He leads Lando Goth. So... What am I worried about here? This turn would be pretty free if I... had the abilities to just stop what he was wanting to do i want to assume i'm going to be faster um he doesn't have anything except the charizard that can resist earthquake so i'm going to i think i'm going to double tap gothitelle here i'm gonna hydro the goth as well let's hope we outspeed if we could just pick up a double knockout that'd be very ideal i mean just a double tap knockout lando could also do something like Oh, it is. It's just Scarf. Okay. He's going to be hurting his own Goth here. We might just be able to pick up the knockout with, um... Vortex. That was an interesting play. I didn't expect the Choice Scarf, though, because, like... He kind of just hurt himself there. I'm assuming this kills. Man is a lot of investment. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, so he uses psychic. That makes sense. So, man, it's gonna be rough. Okay, so this time I'm gonna lower the attack. I lower this. Lower the attack of the land. Lower the attack of the landers here. Oh, 
and we're gonna muddy water again. Okay. This should do a decent chunk of damage. And we load the attack, we load the accuracy, which is pretty nice. Okay, so this turn, we need the Incinero for late game, hundred percent. So we're gonna switch in Celesteela, I think. Oh, I can't switch out. It sucks. Oh man. Meh. If I had Protect, I'd use it here. I should live. Okay, actually switches out, that's fine. Charizard comes in. Muddy Water's gonna come out, that'll do decent damage to everything. Especially the Charizard, right? Yo, let's do a nothing to goth, like... Did I...? Hmm... Here's what we- here is what we want to do. We need... Solid damage here. Right, we need to Flare Blitz Charizard, because I think that would do more than Knock Off. We're going to Muddy Water. If the Landorus locks itself into Earthquake, and we can pick up the kill on the Charizard, then we're in a fine spot, because I think Celesteela can solo. He should lock into something like Rock. Okay, so he does just lock into Earthquake. This should kill- this will kill Finny, but it should proc my berry on the Incinero. Alright, I don't- I don't think it matters what he has, I don't think he can kill me. So the Charizard just goes, goes for Heat Wave, that's fine. <clears throat> I did a lot of damage. I'm just not used to Calyx, I guess, with this team. That should kill, though. Yeah. So now he's locked into Earthquake. And I have a Celesteela. And I got rid of the biggest threat on the team. Wow, that's great. Did he necessarily... He didn't necessarily... Yeah, he outspent my Gengar. He has to be Scarf. He didn't think that through. I'm gonna Heavy Slam Stack Attacka in case he's, like, Sash or something. Stacka does just Protect. Makes sense. Mando's just gonna chill. My opponent didn't think through that endgame. <clears throat> at all. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to substitute. Because <clears throat> I, I know Heavy Slam is not going to do anything anyway. I'm going to let him kill himself. My opponent ends up forfeiting just because I don't think there's a way he can win. He should have locked into Rock Slide, but he must have thought I just didn't have Celesteela in the back and thought I maybe had Snorlax. So that was good. Um, our opponent definitely kind of blundering a little bit there, but we're definitely going to take that. Good stuff. Okay, so kind of a shaky start. The Scarf Landers, that's always really hard to determine in best of one now that we know it's in best of three like i can play around it a little bit more just because it's 
you know, like, I, I legit just assumed it wouldn't be anything bad. I assumed it wouldn't be like that. But uh, we did we, we did manage to just get a free win. Just, he should have locked into something like Rock Slide, I feel. Um, that would have given him a better chance to win. Um, then he wouldn't, I don't think, two shoot. He wouldn't have shot my Incineroar down, so I would have been in a really good spot just because I could Flare Blitz stuff in the sun that he set for me. So, anyway, good game to Ultra Moon. Definitely, I, I, I like that team. I think it was um, something similar. Javier Valdez used to uh, Top Cut, I believe it was the Chile. I think it was the Chile special event. Really cool team. But it doesn't work whenever you're earthquaking next to your own stack attack, you know? So we're on a good start, 12 and 3. Uh, definitely was really pumped about <laughs> my opponent just... Because I felt like I was really good in that position because he was like, okay, he had Scrafty, he had something else, and he has stack attack. So I was like, okay, if he has... Any of those three, I should theoretically win. This team's kind of uh, pretty pretty scary. Dang. Okay. So he's got Kangaskhan, Nagadadel, um, Landorus, Heatran, Feeny, and Cress. So we need to stop the Nagadadel. He has two motions of speed control that we don't really have a great answer to. Um, Gengar's probably... Gengar, I think, is necessary in this game. Snorlax could be very good as well, the curse. Um, getting curses up would be really good. Uh, potentially having Token Amaru. Ah, Token Amaru doesn't help a whole lot except like against certain things. Yeah, I'm going to lead Gengar Fini. Uh, Celesteela has an okay matchup. It's not like great. In Sonora Lax, honestly, I kind of dig. Ah, I kind of want Token Amaru though. I'm not gonna bring Toge. I'm not gonna bring Incineroar. I'm gonna bring Toge tomorrow. If I can lock things in um, to Encore, that would be really good. Uh, locking in st like, stuff like with Encore, I could also Super Fang things, just kind of chip things down into potential kill kill ranges. Um, my Toge tomorrow set's kind of a little bit different. It's Zing Zap Fake Out um, Super Fang, Zing Zap Fake Out Super Fang, and Encore. So it doesn't have. Um, Spiky Shield, so I'm going to have to play around that optimally. He leads Lando Feeny. Um, okay. So we set the Surge first. He's most likely going to be AV Lando then. So, like, depending on how bulky he is, he could probably take my Hydro Vortex. Has me a little bit worried. We have our Feeny. I actually have never calculated this before, so I might actually just try to do a little cheat sheet right here. I have 27 seconds. Take that away, muddy water. Um, yeah, I don't think it would kill. I'm gonna rain. I'm gonna rain dance. Rain dance hydro the <clears throat> Lando. He actually withdraws, so whatever's coming in is going to take hella damage. It's Kangaskhan, it's going to die. Maybe. We also threaten a lot of damage with Sludge Bomb. I don't know, this might not kill Kang. But uh, we're going to find out. But like, we're in the rain, and it's a Z move. I'm just not, I don't have a ton of investment since I'm like, fast. So we're going to find out how much this is going to do. I'm going to assume it's going to be something like 70%-ish. Oh, that's not Mega, yeah, that probably just kills. Oh, okay, nice. And he goes for Moonblast, that's fine. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it's also double target. That is uh, specs, so he's locked into that. Hundred percent specs. I don't have a lot of investment, but I know that that's uh, way too much damage. 
So that means he probably doesn't have a ton of... Because he, he has all of it invested in the special attack. He probably doesn't have a very good way to take this Sludge Bomb plus Muddy Water. So this actually might just kill. I don't know the investment, of course. He actually barely holds on. Muddy Water is going to connect on both. This should do decent damage to the landers. I don't know if this will kill or not. It actually lives what looks like a 1, but there's no way it's like Focus Sash. The Earthquake? That would have been smart. He did Earthquake. I didn't. Man, that was really close. Both of, his, both of them living on 1. Hmm. I have... I'm assuming Lando can't protect. So it's going to be Snorlax, Togi versus Lando and whatever he has as his fourth. If it's Naganadel, that's actually pretty good. If it's... I should be okay. It's actually going to be Heatran, so yeah, that's pretty much money. I'm just going to... I don't think I need to waste anything. I'm just going to high horsepower fake out Lando. Mind to actually protect. Okay, so that's fine. We have Encore, so this is okay. Heat Wave does come out. I don't know how much this damage this is even going to do, because it's in the rain. It is Shuka. It's kind of expected. Does it still good damage? Shuka Berry did weaken Heatran. I'm going to just high horsepower again, and I'm going to encore the Landorus. Good stuff. Oh, he's just grounding him. This shouldn't kill. I really hope it doesn't kill. I don't think that did enough damage for it to kill. That was really smart, though, to play around the um, potential Encore. Yes! Okay, awesome. Heatran does just go for another Heatwave. Toga tomorrow actually avoids. That's really great for us, because now that just heals up a bit. He must have been adamant max, because I'm pretty bulky on Snorlax. And he should forfeit now, <clears throat> because he's locked in. I'm going to recycle, just to, of course, play on the safe side here. And I'm going to just... Might as well just Super Fang, because I don't really have anything to lose from this. That's fine. Toga Tomorrow actually putting in a lot of work here, which is, I'm really happy about. Incineroar over Togi honestly doesn't matter too much. Like, I would have gotten the Intimidate off, so, like, I think I would have won anyway. Um, we're gonna just... It doesn't hurt too much to just reveal Double Edge. We missed the Super Fang, but we're gonna hit the Double Edge and just win. Really, uh, really cool set. We did, we managed to just pick up the knockout on the Kangaskhan at the Hydro, which was huge. Um, that wasn't something I was necessarily going for. It was just like really fortunate that we got the damage off. Removing that essentially like gave us just a huge advantage there. And um, it worked a lot in our favor. So awesome. So I think we have time for one more. The like, games actually went by really fast, which kind of surprised me. Just one thing I need to remember with this team is I need to remember that my opponents can't switch when I have Mega Gengar. <laughs> but anyway, I've been testing this team. It's pretty actually, they have a similar build, but it's just a little bit different. 1663, California. Um, oh dear. Okay, he has a rain. That's fun. Um, rain. I need Togi. 
I need Togi and Lando. No, I need Togi and Cinnaror, Gengar. I'm not Misty Seed, otherwise my matchup would be actually pretty alright. I can maybe use Snorlax as like a damage sponge. Um, I kind of need the Toga tomorrow though for the developer and stuff. I like Gengar and Togi. Maybe that's my lead. Gengar, Togi, Feeny. Incineroar? I kind of need Incineroar for the Scizor. Yeah. Okay. What could he bring that could just totally annihilate this? <clears throat> There's a couple things you could probably bring, but that's... Uh, whatever. Let's do it. I actually never theoried the rain matchup, to be honest. So, we're, this is going to be a first time we're playing this. Anyway, like I was saying about the other team. The F Manetric Finny team relies on swapping out to give yourself a better board position. This team kind of is a little bit different, where you kind of want to trap your opponents into where you can build yourself around a good board position. <clears throat> the Gengar is not really bulky, it can just take like a Lando or a Quake of minus one, but that's really situational. I'd have to lead like Incineroar, Incineroar Gengar, and then swap out into like a Celesteel or something, where it would actually benefit me. It's just some bulk, so I don't like just get screwed. Mimic you Politoed, actually, an interesting lead by my opponent. Okay, so. We are max speed Toad. We're gonna just, um. I think we're gonna just double Toad here. Like, the Mimikyu... Yeah, if that's Sword of Zans, that could be pretty bad, actually. <clears throat> Maybe I should have brought Snorlax. Snorlax is really good. So we're probably going to pick up the kill on the Politoed here. Son of a gun. Okay, what's he bringing in? Ludicolo. Okay, perfect. Things up should do some decent damage, I think. It is going to be probably Ghost. Dang. I think now we have to bring in the Feeny, right? Feeny. We have Incineroar, but we can't bring that in yet. He most likely has Scizor as his last mod. Dang, I didn't see that coming. Okay. We did get really good damage on the Ludi, though. And he's waited. I mean, he doesn't have the Z-move anymore. This is actually okay. He doesn't have Z, so he can't threaten to kill any Incineroar. Most likely doesn't have Protect as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double the... I'm going to Muddy Water just to break a potential Focus Sash in the Mimikyu. Also, the Waternium Z might just be able to kill through... <clears throat> so I'm going to Zing Zap first. I'm going to double the Mimi here. Zing Zap did a lot of damage, though. I really like that. The only thing that can suck here is if he has, like, Giga Drain. Lidicolo going straight for the Hydro Pump here, actually. Doing pretty good work. Man. If I could flinch the Mimikyu, that'd be great. Or if I can get an act, an act drop. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Shadow Claw coming out. This is going to probably be on Togi. I don't know if I can win this. Okay, so 
<clears throat> what I need to do... I need to fake out Moonblast Ludi this turn. I need Ludi to go down. Yeah. What does Mimikyu do? Shadow Claw coming out probably on the Fini. Alright, so now we have to play this. Okay. It's gonna be the top of Coco, actually. Um. Fudge. Oh, that's why you wanted to get rid of Toga tomorrow so bad. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna. Probably an L. He most likely has Thunder. Um. I need to protect. When does Rain wanna run out? Two turns left. I got a Flare Blitz, I think. Okay, okay. All right. Um, Volt Switch. I doubt I live. Especially with these teams, they're probably going to be like Specs. I need to account for every situation possible here. Okay, so... We don't get the double. Volt Switch does come out. He's going to bring back in the Toad. Or probably, yeah. I mean, I'm like... I was like 100% sure that would kill. Um... Oh, it's actually Life Orb. It's fine. This should do decent damage. This might act maybe might knock off the toe or kill the thingy. If we can crit kill the Polytoad here, I think we have a shot. That did not. Oh, because he already uses a Jack button. Dang it. So now. We hope we outspeed the Polytoad and we just Flare Blitz it. Um, because you could also just switch out. Okay, so he does have Play Rough. I don't know why he didn't go for that for you. Our attack fell. That actually really sucks. We are faster. Okay, so we do kill the Toad. We might be able to pull this out. I think he's going to protect Coco and play rough. Well, what's his rating, actually? 1663. I think he's going to protect Coco, play rough. So I'm going to try to proc my berry with Incineroar this turn. Okay, so he just Volt Switches. That's fine. We live. Oh, there's no way we win. That did way too much damage. That was a losing play. Maybe we should have. Oh, we should have knocked off Mimikyu then. Oh wait, he was Ghost Tim. He would have lived. Okay, so doesn't even kill. Yeah, that attack drop kind of sucked. Um, I just said, yeah, whatever. There's not much we could have done there. Honestly, I'm gonna be. I thought. I thought of the out of the, all the Monzi had, I thought it was least likely that the Mimikyu had the Z move or the Coco and the Ludicolo. So that's just something. Going to like a game three, you know, you can kind of play yourself around. Because it's definitely like it's not surprising that Mimikyu has the Z move, but just on a team like that, I would like, I'd probably assume Ludicolo, then Coco, then Mimikyu. But that's all right. I think we played as optimally as we could. Definitely, no, we did not. But we could have saved the Togedemaru a little bit, especially since he had the Coco. Um. I honestly was like playing for a scissor end game when I didn't factor in everything. Like I didn't the game before where I was just like, okay, he's or the first game where he was like, 
He's like, he has to lock himself into Earthquake here, or he loses. And he has to rely on me not having Celesteela, but I did. So, I didn't consider every endgame there. And if I would have preserved the token tomorrow, I could have had a better chance of winning. Maybe if sacked my Incineroar there or something, you know? Giving myself a nice board position for the game, for the rest. Because, like, also, like, my I outspeed his uh, Mimikyu with Togedemaru. I can kill his Polito with Togedemaru. Um, Ludicolo would have been... I wouldn't have liked to take a lot of damage there from like that Moonblast anyway. So we could have definitely have played a little bit better. But that's also just experimenting new with the new team. Anyways, I hope you guys like the new team. Um, it's definitely something I like theoried a tiny bit. It's not like it's something I put a ton of um, ton of time working for because I've just been really busy with stuff. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any comments, please be sure to message me or Tyler on Twitter. We definitely want to hear feedback. Um... Anyways, if you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, um, tell your friends about uh, what we're trying to do here. And I think that's going to wrap up today's uh, video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.